I'm, I just thought I'd pop in here and uh, just share a conversation I had with uh, a friend of mine the other day, a uh, painter. And it's all about sharing your work and, and why we want to share our work and all the cool things that happen when we do. But what I wanted to talk about now, uh, just go over the three big reasons why people don't share their art and what's behind that. Because once you understand that, you can do it more easily. And there's all kinds of great things that happen. Everything happens when you share your work, like everything good, everything good. So this is something that I really try to get, uh, you know, people that have studied with me and beginning level artists all the way up to higher level artists get really good at sharing your work because all kinds of opportunities happens. And so let me just hit these three things because it's pretty simple. Um, the, one of the reasons, and this really goes for artists that are pretty far along and they're kind of rolling pretty good. And they don't, they, they, the reason they don't want to share their art is that they feel like there's going to be, there's competition there. And, um, you know, like if I share something uh, that I do or a technique I use that someone's going to come along and and do it also and take the steam away from what I'm doing. So in all these points I'm going to make, all these all these three reasons that are the challenges that why we don't share, the same thing's behind it. And that's where that's what's kind of cool about it. The thing that's behind this is fear. Fear that somebody is going to do what you do and, and you'll lose your foothold in the market or it'll make your work see, seem less, less good because other people do it. So I just want to speak to that a little bit um, because all of this is, is, is unnecessary. You know, your originality is built into you and that is what we want to leverage when you're making art. Um, you are totally unique. And I, I hit this and so much in everything I teach. And it's really a place that you should feel confidence, not uh, fear. If you're paying attention to making your art, if, you're, um, if, if you realize that you're totally unique, then that's why your art will stay that way. It doesn't matter if someone copies the way you work. It doesn't even matter if they copy your art. They're gonna get bored of it because it's not theirs. And this is really, really uh, so important. I mean, I teach a lot of people and there's periods of time when people kind of look like my work because they see it and it's just whatever is in front of you, you kind of get influenced by, but they get bored of it. Plus, you're, I'm moving on to new stuff all the time. Who cares if someone's kind of being influenced by you or whatever? Art making is you're just changing all the time. So don't fear that. Like, just don't fear that at all put your work out there be generous share what you're doing it's fine it's totally fine it hasn't hurt me at all my i still sell work in galleries and there's people out there that make work like mine but i'm the i'm at the forefront of that you just don't even have to worry about that so that's one of the reasons you need to share and like the fear around that the other thing that holds people back and i know this is a big one is just it's scary it's scary there's fear around um what, you know, what if no one likes it? You know, what if I make this and someone writes a bad comment or I try to share it in sharing, you know, online or putting it out there in the world, you know, putting it in a gallery or whatever. Um, it is kind of risky. It is, it is, um, it's kind of gnarly, but how you want to be making your art, the only way you can do this, the only way you can make amazing work is looking inside of yourself, especially when you're making it. And remember that, that is such a cool thing because when we look outside of ourselves and we start asking, you know, oh, what do they think of me? Or even if we're making art and it's like someone, if you're copying somebody else and you're looking outside of yourself and saying, oh, I want it to be like that, you can't really make great work because the way you make great work is being paying attention to what's going on inside of yourself. And you just need to stay in there. You gotta stay in your own lane. And so don't, like letting, worrying about what other people think about it, um, it just doesn't serve you. It's a completely irrelevant thing. You don't need to worry about that. Don't, you know, I love the saying about, you know, don't let other people rent space in your head. Don't let any of that occupy your head. It's just not useful. You know, it's like understanding, you know, high physics 
to make art. It's not necessarily necessary, right? It, you don't need that. So let that go, you know, and don't let that be a block to your sharing. Because again, when you put your work out there, that's when you can start seeing it more objectively. And that's when you start, this thing gets really good. It's really connected to putting yourself out there, risking and vulnerability. You know, it's, you can develop, yes, by yourself alone in isolation, but it's much better to, to put yourself out a little bit in your art, but then also sharing it with other people. You get response, you get, and you know, you just have to like look, listen to the people that you care about, get feedback from them. And there's always gonna be people that are not gonna be supportive or they don't get it or they don't like it. You just do not wanna let that derail you at all. The other thing that, you know, stops a lot of people from doing this is um, is that it really it really steps you up. It really makes you visible, literally, right? Like we can we can be making art privately, and lots of people do this, and there's nothing wrong with that or whatever. But I'm just I'm convinced that if you can make yourself more visible, if you can step it up in your art, it really really accelerates. Uh, the progress of your art making and it makes you a stronger artist it makes you much much better it gives you clarity um, when you can you can put it out there but the fear um, that you're going to be seen more is something you need to work on because when you make art and for a lot of people making art is being seen and it's scary to do that you know that white page but know that art making uh, you know, is a, is a unique activity that requires you to make something and make a mistake and then correct it. Like that's what art making is. So by saying that I don't want to make a mistake or I don't want anyone to see my mistakes and to avoid them at all costs, um, that's not the process of making art, right? Like that's not, that's not actually how it works. We move along through this process, the more we can make mistakes, the more we can correct them, and the faster our progress. And just like, yeah, that's what art making is, is the process of making mistakes and figuring it out. Um, hey, uh, Benita, Stephanie, nice to see you here. Tina, um, Valerie, nice to see you here. Ruhi, hi. Um, Anyway, I have, um, for those of you guys who are new here, I have, um, uh, I share this Color Tips PDF. Um, you can get it, um, I think um, Ferris or AJ will stick that in the comments. Um, but you can download this at arttolifecolortips.com. Uh, there's some really great information on color that can really help your work. But uh, I just wanted to share, share these ideas about, um, you know, about sharing your, sharing your work because it's hard and and when you're feeling kind of insecure about your work it's just not the thing you really feel like doing you know and part of the reason you know when i do workshops and i know Rui can attest to this when you get the courage to go to one of these and you're kind of there's sort of a thing you got to get over and it goes away after a day or two everyone's seeing what you're doing they're seeing the duds they're seeing your progress they're seeing the good ones and the bad ones you get kind of used to it and then it just gets, you just improve so much. So it's just knowing that we always have this feeling, you know, sharing is, it's a little bit like standing up on stage, you know, if, if you have something important to say and, and your work is important and you sometimes need to stand up and say it and just overrule. So what I'm sharing with you are some like workarounds uh, to, to, to diminish that fear. Uh, everything that you know my my art making and all my teaching and all the things that I love doing so much and it's just so fun to teach people and do workshops and all the cool stuff that's happened for me is because I all, I just shared even though I didn't feel like it and um, you know I always stick a painting up here behind me like this is not done you know and uh, I just I just I just share it because I don't want to be hung up. I just want to be like, yeah, I'm making art. This is a pro progression and I make some mistakes. Art making is the process of mistakes, 
making mistakes over and over and over again. The more you make, the faster you make them, the more you can figure out where you're going and the work just gets better and better and better. It's never going away. You're never gonna not be making mistakes if you're doing this properly. To, and you know, that's what I'm interested in doing is getting people to make amazing, amazing art. But I can't do it if people are sitting, playing small, right? We wanna, you know, we wanna put our work out there and extend and, and, you know, for a lot of people, just like start an Instagram account, you know, post to Facebook, wherever you can share it or show your neighbors or put your painting up when they come, up, come over to your house, whatever the thing is, and you know where that edge is for you, just try today to just do one thing where you put your work out there a little bit more and you'd be surprised, like stuff happens as a result of that and that's what gains gives you confidence when you share and you get the affirmation and you get response that gives you confidence which then gives you the ability to take one bigger next step and that's what it's all about you can't game this you can't just go from you know zero to a hundred it's like you go to six, then you go back to three, then you go to seven, then you go to four, then you go to nine, and then you go to six, and then you go to 50. You know, it's like that. It's just like little steps. So um, anyway, hey, Pauline. Uh, yeah, it's a good one, right? This sharing thing. You know, I realized that this, this ability um, is, it's not even about making art. Like this is like making art. There's a whole bunch of other stuff we got to talk about. Uh, you know, value and design and color and all that stuff. But this one isn't one that I've really pushed a lot. And I'm seeing how uh, it really makes a difference for people and it really progresses them because you'll see your work more objectively when you can share it and get some perspective, when you see it in another platform, when someone calls you up and you're so insecure. I mean, I never can predict the response to stuff. I've just stopped trying. I mean, I, you know, uh, it's always, I'm always surprised. You never know what's going to happen. You know, my best work was never made because I thought I was doing my best work. The best work became something that other people saw in my work. And then I realized it was really good. And it was like, oh, I get it. I can kind of see that. And then I remember it that way. But at the time, I'm always insecure when I'm making art. And it always feels like it's this strange thing that I'm making. And it's, there's a little bit of reluctance. But let me just tell you, the more you do this, the more you just put yourself out there, just a, every day, just do a one little thing, just step forward a little bit with your work, it can make a huge, huge difference. So anyway, I just couldn't re resist saying that um, to you guys. Um, yeah, Judy's saying Facebook's been amazing for me, Instagram sharing, people would never have seen what I'm doing. I know, and Judy, if you're like me, um, I'm always shocked, you know, like I, I meet other artists because of it, you know, like you're in the game, you know, if, if other people are sharing your work, sharing your, if you're sharing your art and you meet other people that are sharing their art, like we all get it. Like it kind of puts you on an equal footing and it's really, really cool. It's like, you know, we can kind of support each other in doing this, you know, so it's really great. So anyway, um, Jance, uh, nice for being. Thanks for being here. And um, I didn't even know uh, if you guys would be around today, so this is cool. Hey, Deborah, nice to see you. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm procrastinating because I got to go and paint. But I just uh, I've been thinking about this a lot, and I'm adding some of the content into my teaching programs about this, getting people to do this more and learning how to do it. You know, it's it seems a little outside the topic of art making, but um, again, it's it's a big mover and shaker for developing your work and progressing. So, all right, you guys, um, I'll let you go to lunch, and I will talk to you soon. Again, if you want the uh, that free PDF, go to art to a two l colortips .com. Um, thanks, uh, AJ, for sticking those in the comments. And if you have any questions about this, um, I'm happy to, you know, I'll come back. I'm going to paint for a while. I'll come back and answer um, any questions or comments you have. Um, uh, so I will, and I'll be, I'm going to be talking about this on Sunday as well uh, on the vlog that's coming out. Um, so I'm just kind of, you know, check that out on Sunday. Um, if you're not on our blog email list, um, uh, you can, um, you, you know, if you join that, if you get that PDF or go to arttolife.com, you can get on our blog email list. So I'll be talking about this as well on Sundays. Slightly different angle on it, um, some tips and tricks around doing this. So, all right, you guys, hope you're doing great. Okay, bye.